Farm Master, good Hi. to see you. Good to see you. Are you well? Welcome to New Zealand again. Good to see you again. Thanks, yes, sir. China's Foreign Minister received a warm welcome from New Zealand's Prime Minister, who highlighted the thriving and mutually beneficial trade relationship between the two countries. We also believe we have strong people-to-people -people connections and certainly have a strong, passionate, vibrant Chinese community here in New Zealand that I think has made New Zealand a much richer and a much better place. And Wang Yi responded by praising New Zealand's positive approach to the bilateral relationship. I know you have always attached great importance to the relations between China and New Zealand, and you have also led the New Zealand government in adopting a rational, pragmatic and a positive policy towards China. It's Wang Yi's first visit to New Zealand in seven years, and observers say that such high-level visits should lead to greater cooperation in future. And it's an important signal that the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi uh, visited New Zealand uh, to um, uh, keep, keep the New Zealand-China relationship moving forward. New Zealand's very strong diplomatic relationship with China stretches back more than 50 years and the Prime Minister says it's really crucial to work with China to build those relationships across the entire Asia-Pacific region. New Zealand's Foreign Minister also met with Wang Yi for wide-ranging bilateral discussions and they exchanged in-depth views on international security issues including the conflict in Ukraine. There was also some frank discussion about human rights issues and New Zealand's support for the controversial AUKUS security partnership which China objects to. And just as New Zealand and China are seeking to find areas of cooperation, I think they're also making a lot of effort to manage those you know, potential tensions in the relationship. However, the overall tone of the meetings was positive and New Zealand's Foreign Minister says he looks forward to future high-level visits this year for talks on issues including trade and climate change. Our Council certainly advocates uh, for a balanced and resilient relationship where New Zealand uh, obviously looks for opportunities to co cooperate where it can. Wang Yi praised New Zealand's continued support for China's Belt and Road Initiative and the desire for common prosperity. Owen Poland, CGTN, Wellington.